When a previous generation Lexus GX used to leave the dealership and head into the hands of its first owner, it was typically destined for everyday tasks like grocery shopping, visits to country clubs, and chauffeuring kids to sports events, essentially, typical premium SUV duties. However, as time went by and these older GX models changed hands two or three times, they often found their way into the possession of off-road enthusiasts looking for an affordable yet capable vehicle to explore rugged terrains and remote areas. The transformation would involve stripping away the heavy alloys and sleek body enhancements in favor of more rugged tires, simple rims, and protective bars. Interestingly, this is when the GX would truly come into its own. Now, with its third generation, Lexus eliminates the need for such aftermarket modifications by offering an off-road-ready variant straight from the dealership, the Lexus GX 550 Overtrail Plus. So, how does this new model measure up? The GX? But which one exactly? Get ready for a bit of complexity. The new GX comes in three main versions, Luxury, Premium, and Overtrail models. Each of these versions offers the option to upgrade to a Plus model, which includes additional premium features. So, effectively, there are six variants of the GX to consider. The focus here is on the Overtrail Plus model, a fresh edition tailored specifically for off-road enthusiasts. Many convenience-oriented features have been removed, goodbye, electric running boards, and the third row seat is also omitted. Lexus took customer feedback seriously, recognizing that those intending to take the GX off-road prioritize cargo space and potentially sleeping arrangements. Besides, for those in need of a three-row luxury SUV, there's the new Lexus TX to consider. The Overtrail Plus model retains many of the luxurious features found in the GX Luxury Plus variant, such as park assist and massaging front seats. However, the overall design of this model, featuring earth and black onyx finishes, clearly emphasizes its off-road capabilities. Despite the adoption of all-terrain tires and the removal of the third row, the Overtrail Plus still carries a bit more weight compared to the seven-seat premium model. Nonetheless, in our tests, it performed admirably, particularly considering its focus on off-road performance. During acceleration tests from 0 to 60 miles per hour and through the quarter mile, the Overtrail Plus achieved impressive times of 6.5 seconds and 14.9 seconds at 93.6 miles per hour, respectively. For comparison, the premium GX clocked in at 6.3 seconds for the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint and 14.7 seconds for the quarter mile at 95.0 miles per hour. In our figure 8 test, which assesses acceleration, braking, and cornering performance, the GX demonstrated excellent handling characteristics. It exhibited remarkable poise in corners, provided dependable feedback through the brake pedal, and delivered strong upshifts on straight stretches. Completing the course in 28.0 seconds with an average of 0.60 G, the Overtrail Plus showcased its capabilities. Interestingly, the Premium GX, equipped with less aggressive tires, took slightly longer at 28.4 seconds with an average of 61 centimos. Turning to aesthetics, the GX 550 Overtrail Plus captivates with its striking design. In comparison, one might argue that this new GX makes even the current Land Rover Defender, itself an ode to boxy, utilitarian design, appear somewhat less graceful. Noteworthy features include the elegantly low belt line of the windshield and side windows, the distinct step up at the C-pillar, the assertive front end, despite personal reservations about the Lexus grille, it harmonizes well with the GX's overall look, and the pronounced bulges flanking the hood. It exemplifies top-tier automotive design. While it shares much of its bodywork with the forthcoming Toyota Land Cruiser, a brief glance inside reveals that the Lexus achieves a higher level of luxury. The specific GX model features black new lux, imitation leather, trim with olive ultra suede accents, striking a balance between premium and rugged aesthetics. Furthermore, its ease of cleaning is noteworthy, effortlessly removing muddy boot prints with a single wipe of a wet cloth. How does it perform on the road? Regardless of whether you choose the GX 550, one thing remains constant, the engine. Under the hood lies a 3.4-liter twin-turbocharged V6, a power plant shared among various models in the Toyota and Lexus lineup, including the Tundra, Sequoia, and Lexus LX. 
This GX, like its counterparts, also shares the same chassis and body-on-frame construction as the Lexus LX. In its GX configuration, this V6 engine generates 349 horsepower and 479 lbft of torque. Lexus has hinted at a hybridized version, which is anticipated to arrive in the future. Off-road prowess is where the Overtrail Plus GX truly shines. It effortlessly conquers diverse terrains, from rocky canyons to muddy trails and water crossings. Even in challenging situations, the vehicle's array of features, including six drive modes, four terrain modes, downhill assist control, and the ability to lock the center or rear differentials, or both, ensures that it rarely gets stuck. When it comes to on-road performance, the engine delivers ample torque, and the 10-speed automatic transmission efficiently translates power to the wheels whenever necessary. Notably, the Overtrail Plus boasts an impressive towing capacity of 9,096 pounds. Compared to its predecessor, this third-generation V6 Power GX offers 48 more horsepower. However, while acceleration is not sluggish, there are moments, such as merging onto highways or executing passing maneuvers, where a bit more power would be appreciated. Perhaps the 5,547-pound curb weight contributed to this, but on the winding asphalt roads near Big Bear Lake, California, we were pleasantly surprised by the nimbleness of the GX. Despite its weight, the GX felt remarkably agile, powered by its 33-inch all-terrain tires on 18-inch rims. It handled corners with grace and refinement, boasting just right steering weight, minimal lateral body movement, and excellent brake balance. Despite being a body-on-frame vehicle, the GX defied expectations of excessive body roll and oversteer, thanks in part to the Electric Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System EKDSS, and the Torsen Locking Center Differential, which allows for smooth four-wheel drive operation even during tight turns. This unfussy handling on pavement is a rarity in vehicles of this size. One characteristic common to large vehicles that we did experience was frequent trips to the gas station. With an EPA-estimated fuel economy of 15 miles per gallon in the city and 21 miles per gallon on the highway, the GX's efficiency, while better than its V8 predecessor, still leaves much to be desired. In summary, regardless of the GX version or trim level chosen, you're getting a stylish and capable SUV suitable for any lifestyle. With the Overtrail Plus, Lexus delivers an off-road experience that appeals to both beginners and experts, without many of the on-road compromises typically associated with off-road vehicles. This experience does come at a premium price. The model we tested was $81,415, and involves some concessions, but overall, the GX 550 is easy to love. Whether it's parked spotless in your driveway or covered in dirt in the middle of nowhere, it maintains its appeal. Thanks for watching this video.